I'm with Tim Lever from, see if I get this right, Aberconwy? Aberconwy Nursery, yes. That wasn't too bad, no, then, it was it? No, wasn't too bad, no. Now, you know, North Wales. Yes. Quite mountainous. Yes. Are you quite high where your nursery is? We're not, we, we are sort of a reasonable distance above sea level, but we're quite close to the North Wales coast. But from the nursery, looking out over, we look out over Snowdonia. So we look out oh, over lovely the area, sort of, uh, through the, uh, uh, every day, yes, sort of, uh, while, we're, while we're growing our, uh, our plants. Now, the nursery was started by your parents? Uh, well, so it, it originally, it was, the, it was already in existence when my parents took it over, but they took it over when I was very small and we sort of developed a, uh, originally it was sort of growing quite a lot of shrubs, herbaceous and trees due to alpines, but we've very much gone into alpines in for the last 25, 30 years. So as a child you got the job of washing pots? I and... got all sorts of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> So, and you've stayed within it, has it always been your sort of, is it a... Yeah, a it, well, it, 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 uh, the, it, growing up around the plants, it was always sort of interesting. I, I, I took a while for the plant to bite home, but when it, when it did, it sort of, got, it, it, it tended, it, it sort of generally did when I started going out into the mountains and seeing, even out in, in the mountains in North Wales and seeing there's all of alpine plants growing in their natural habitat and then sort of extending that to, out to sort of visiting the sort of Alps and, and various other sort of uh, parts of the world where, uh, and seeing the plants and then coming home and sort of uh, trying to sort of grow them and lear learn from the, the conditions they grew in to grow them in, uh, in cultivation. So have we got plants here that have would grow in North Wales, as an example. Oh, you well, know, in the mountains. The, the answer saying. to that is, it's a little. At this time of the day, it's a little bit hit and miss <laughs> uh, in terms of what I've got left. Uh, there is uh, what have we got here. There's things like Silenia colis, which is a is the moss campion, which grows in in the mountains of North Wales. Uh, although I can't quite see any at the moment, but uh, you've got a huge selection. Oh yeah, here. no, we we grow now, we grow a large amount, a number of alpines from all around the world. Now, what are we going to? We've got a range of sedums Se across sedums here. Sedums and sempervivums, the succulent end of things, which tend to be the sort of things that are a little bit uh, more well, easier to grow. They're sort of tolerant of a reasonable range of, of sort of environments to uh, to sort of get them going through sort of saxifrages, which can be a little bit more a uh, little bit more sort of challenging. Get it's a lot of alpine growing is getting the plant, the sort of right plant for the right place, as it were, sort of matching the conditions that they'd get in the wild. Through to the very very difficult things to grow, things like the Dionysias, which now do Dionysias flower very easily or are they quite difficult to get Gen into flower? It, generally a lot of them are very are very very easy to get into into good flower which is one of the reasons you see quite a lot of them on the show bench is that they uh, they things like corona there it reliably sort of covers itself with uh, uh, with flowers every year but the uh, the issue is that they out in out in the wild they come from uh, from sort of mountains of uh, Iraq and sort of Afghanistan sort of areas where the conditions they get out in the wild are somewhat different from what we tend to get in this country. In this country we get very wet winters and we get sort of uh, uh, very sort of damp and moist autumns whereas out where they grow in the wild they don't have those conditions. So trying to grow them in this country is a bit of a labour of love in the sense that you have to be careful about uh, uh, about how you grow them so that you can uh, you can get the conditions right and uh, get them to thrive. Now that's what I want to just home in on because um, so often we see alpines sold not okay. You're you're a specialist yes. nursery, but a lot of the time people are buying alpines at say a garden. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And they don't really know what they're buying, yeah. do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we? teach people to understand that alpines have got a specific way of growing you know how do how do we look after it's, 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 a, it's a difficult one to answer because alpines it's a very very broad range of plants alpines generally is plants that come from high altitude up in the mountains and around the world every mountain range has its own sort of conditions the general rule of thumb with most of them, and there's an awful lot of alpines out there that are relatively easy to grow, is that they want good drainage so that in the winter... I'm so sorry. In, in, in the winter they, uh, they 
uh, excess water that we get in this country because we get very wet, sort of wet, or, or wet autumns. Excess moisture drains away pretty promptly. Uh, but equally, on the flip side of that, they don't coming from high up in the mountains. There are mountain ranges which are uh, which are dry. <laughs> there are mountain ranges which are dry, but a lot of the mountain ranges you you have water for you have rain falling it lands on the ground it falls down it moves yeah so and it, but it, it moves down the hill which generally means that most alpines don't want to be bone dry they don't want to be dry they do, they're not they're not always the best thing for a dry spot because they do want a bit of moisture even if it's just to the roots underneath sort of most of the year round they don't want to go road dry things like the sempervivums again they generally will tolerate drought because they they're succulent. They have they have a, a degree of moisture in the leaves. But a lot of the things that grow high up in the mountains, they're not succulent. They they require moisture coming up from underneath. But it's moisture that moves. It's moisture that sort of flows away down the hill and sort of disappears. Uh, sort of disappears down the hill and then they get watered again and it sort of keeps going around in that sort of cycle. So grit, 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 grit gritty mix and a reasonable reasonable depth of compost so that it, in because because we do have dry summers and you don't want to spend all of your time watering so if you have a, a very very shallow soil it will dry out pretty quickly over a couple of a couple of days whereas if you have a soil that's sort of six to eight inches deep then it will hold the moisture down the bottom and it will, it will sort of tolerate, it will sort of extend the periods between you needing to keep an eye on the water. Uh, and yes, they, 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 they want good well-drained soil, but they do want to, a decent sort of depth so that they're not sort of going to dry out too quickly. Um, other than that, other than that, they're, just they're, enjoy them. Really. Enjoy them, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and always, that you can get such a range where the flowering time sort of, you can get things in flower. Spring is always the best time. Autumn's good. You can get stuff that flowers in the summer. The only point in the year where you can be without flower is the depths of winter, when most of the stuff high up in the mountains is covered in snow and dormant. And have you got a website? So we do, yes. Uh, www.abercombwaynursery.co.uk uh, www is, uh, is the website. So uh, we don't, the only thing is we don't do mail order. So uh, we, but we do do a lot of events through the season and we do, uh, uh, do uh, have a site in North Wales that you can visit.